Hi everyone, today I'm going to chat about positivity, how you can be more positive and enjoy life more if you feel like you're in a rut. I really hope this video helps you. The first thing I want to say is to watch your words because your words reflect how you feel on the inside and how you feel on the inside reflects on your actions that you take every day and the actions you take every day are what shapes your life. So if you're talking negative constantly, if you're gossiping about people all the time, if you're talking shit about yourself, just real, really take note of that and notice how it affects you throughout the day. I can guarantee that the people who you know, who you feel are really positive, are the people who don't gossip and don't constantly say negative things about their own life or complain. I don't want this video to come across like really ranty because I know I relate to you if you feel that way because we've all been there. I've definitely been there in the past. I guarantee that if you just turn it on its head and noticeably stop yourself from saying those things and constantly complaining, your life will change instantly. When it comes to your goals and what you really want out of life, don't get in your own way by having those negative vibes coming in from all of the negative shit you're constantly saying every day. So I recommend that you start an affirmation practice. This has helped me so much, particularly if you struggle with inner demons, having an affirmation practice, even though it feels stupid because no one who's you know, really depressed or feeling crap about themselves, wants to look in the mirror and be like, I am beautiful, I am amazing, I am perfect. But it works, like it really, really works and makes such a huge difference and I highly recommend it. My second thing I wanted to mention, which kind of ties into this, is to fix your attitude and be grateful. We all have things to complain about, we all have bad days, but it's your attitude towards what happens in your life that determines your future. It's totally okay to be upset if something bad happens, but it's your attitude towards it and your reflection on it that ultimately can bring you more happiness or more sadness. So next time you feel like you have a really bad day or something bad happens, just try to focus on how many incredible things you have in life. For a start, you're alive, like some people didn't wake up this morning. Just let that sink in for a minute. Some people did not wake up this morning and you are alive another day. If that's not something to be grateful for, then I honestly don't know what is. Also, the fact that you're watching this video and you own, or someone you know owns, a mobile phone or a laptop or a tablet means you're probably pretty privileged compared to millions of other people on this planet. If you sit down and write down a list of all of the things you can be grateful for, whether they're huge things like being alive and, you know, having access to clean water or even just simple things like it being a sunny day, you will instantly feel so much more positive. I also wanted to talk about abundance and practicing abundance. Clearly relates to money and finances and everything, but it just can also relate to life in general. Because really at the end of the day, the mindset of feeling rich and abundant is a lifestyle and you can feel rich and abundant with any kind of amount in your bank account, whether it's hardly anything or more than enough. I can guarantee that at this moment in time there is a child living somewhere in the world in the slums with barely enough food to eat yet they feel rich and they feel abundant because they're enjoying life, they're laughing with their friends, they're playing games. Having that mindset of feeling rich and abundant because of what we already have is so important. It's so ironic because there is someone like that who is living on the poverty line and they still like get up every day and love and enjoy their life and then you can contrast that with we all know someone who is rich and successful whether we know them personally or we see them in the media and these people are so depressed that they have to 
literally numb the pain of their existence daily with drugs and alcohol and it's so sad but it's so totally a mindset because these people for whatever reason have focused on the superficial things that aren't as important rather than the things that make us truly rich and truly abundant. Just try and focus again on all of the small things that make life amazing and make your life meaningful and just try to have that focus on the present moment and that will inevitably bring you that feeling of abundance because you simply can't focus on all the, of the amazing things that you have and not feel rich and like you're the luckiest person in the world. And the last thing I wanted to say is give freely and give generously. Of course, my number one priority will always be myself, looking after myself and my own health and well-being. But next to that, like serving others and adding value to others is the most important thing. For me, it's part of our purpose as human beings. Now, when I bring this up, it's not very popular with a lot of people because a lot of people have this very lack mentality in terms of they feel like they don't have enough or they feel like what they have is just enough for them and they can't give any more, whether it's their time or money or resources, they simply can't give any more because they have this very limited lack mentality that they, there is never enough. Now, I'm not gonna preach like that you have to give so much money and so much time to people. Charity, whatever form it comes in, is very, very personal and you have to really decide that for yourself but I highly recommend you make it a habit and make some sort of monthly act or donation of your time or resources or just anything that you feel could make a huge difference to someone else and you will be blown away by how much you receive in return times 10. And this concept applies to every area of your life. I'm not just talking about charity, I am talking about your personal relationships, your work, your business, everything in your life will be improved times 10. Love yourself, fill up your own tank first and then you will just have so much to give to others that you will receive so much back and it's just a really positive cycle if you make it a habit to focus on that. If you enjoy chatting about the law of attraction and positive thinking and everything else like that, please leave me a comment and I'd love to start a little discussion on this topic. I love chatting about it and if you did enjoy it or found it helpful and want me to chat more about this in future, give this video a thumbs up to let me know because I always love to see your feedback and I always listen to what you want to see more of in future. So hit the subscribe button as well to see three new videos a week, beauty and lifestyle topics as well and I will see you in my next one. Bye!